Hello. Okay, just one second. So today I'm going to be doing some paper piecing. I don't know if it's just the holiday season, but it gets me in the mood to quilt. So I'm going to be doing paper piecing, and this is the pattern that I printed out. It was a free pattern, and it is a star. So I'm going to work on this, and hopefully you guys can maybe learn something new or just hang out and chat. Okay, so I've already cut out my pattern. So each pattern you cut it out, or each piece you cut it out, and this one has A, B, so C, D, E, and F. So you do each portion of the star, and then at the end you put all those pieces together. So I'm gonna start with A. And I've chosen these two fabrics, so hopefully I have enough of this. And then my poinsettia fabric. I have my iron ready to go. My sewing machine. Okay, so. Um, this A portion is going to be the star, and then there's going to be parts around it that is the background. So I need to figure out what I want to do for the background, which I don't actually know. Hmm. The problem is this has gold in it, so shoot. Um I don't know. I have other Maybe blue? It has red in it, so that would be okay. Oh well, I, this might not turn into something. This might be a series where I make them and then I end up making uh, my finished product. So we're gonna see how this goes. I haven't done paper piecing since last year. So I'm going to cut a piece off of this. Well, what you do is you're supposed to put it on your fabric and then cut a, pe a piece bigger than the portion you want to cover. So. Okay, so you have to make sure. Okay, that's going to go, you want to go a quarter of an inch around the piece. And then I'll take this, and this is just scrap, so I can just chop it up. Is this how you work? When I work, things just kind of end up where they fall, and then I'll clean it up later. You want to have straight edges when you start. Or if you can hear my heat go on. Bring you down more, maybe you can see better. Okay, so when you're doing this, you're going to fold where your seam's gonna go. So I'm gonna be attaching the A to the A1 to the A2. So I fold, I think, 
No, wait. Oh my god, this has been so long. It's been so long. Okay. Oh my god, I'm losing I'm losing my train. It has to go on top. Right? Wow, okay. Where's my pins? <laughs> Someone remind me. Do you want a pin? No. Right sides together. This is so bad right now. <laughs> Don't give me thumbs up. What are you talking about? Why has this been... It hasn't been that long. Why am I, like, totally... Supposed to be prepared when you do a live stream, but apparently I am not. Okay, maybe when I do my first scene, then I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember now. <laughs> first scene should be that one. And this is going to be easy because it's only two pieces putting together, so why is this so hard for me? I don't know. Okay, it has to be... I always end up wasting so much fabric because... to just sew down the center and see. <clears throat> okay. So, this, <coughs> you need, this is what I want. And then I will, so I sewed, I sewed down, sorry, my phone should be on silent. I'm going to iron it. You can iron right on top of your paper. Oh. isn't hot. <laughs> uh, I think that's right though. Okay. Once you've sewn down your line, then you will cut out the shape very easily. If you didn't put, you see, look at how much fabric I'm going to waste. Because <coughs> I didn't do right. Oh well. Okay. 
So when you're doing the paper piecing though, if you're, let's say I'm gonna do, I was thinking of maybe doing like a placemat or a table runner or something like that. Um, then you would have to print out, let's say I want to do, because these stars are gonna be six inches, so maybe if I had two on top of each other, then that would be 12 inches, so that would be a good size for a table runner, plus I'm gonna do border around it. And then, you know, so I would need like probably like a lot of stars. So you have to print out a piece of paper, or print out a pattern for every single star. So you need to invest in a printer and paper and ink if you're going to do a lot of paper piecing. So there's like little notches here on the pattern and then you have to cut those off. So there is the first piece. Yay! <laughs> All right, let's see. B is gonna be a lot more difficult. B is four pieces. So, you can tell that B1 and B2 are going to be the star, and then B3 and B4 are going to be the background. So, this was A. And A will be connected here. So I'm going, the star has two sections. If you wanted the star to be all the same print, you could do that. Or you could have um, one print on one side and one print on the other. And so as you're going along, you have to make sure that, you know, if you're going to do the poinsettia on the left side of each point, then on this side, I'm going to do the poinsettia. And, and for every other point in your star. So, let us do, okay, so we're gonna be doing the left side will have the poinsettia and the right side will have this polka dot. Hello, if anybody wants to chat, feel free. Hopefully. Okay. I'm gonna screw up, I can already feel it. So the poinsettia is gonna be on the left side, which will be here. So. All right, hopefully that will work. You don't have to worry about sewing on top of the paper. It doesn't hurt your machine. All right. Did it work? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> oh man. Don't work with triangle pieces. That is, I think that's the lesson for today. Only work with rectangles. Okay, 
gonna do it again. One more time. It's like an encore. Right? Is that what it's like? <laughs> See, this is why I don't like to watch my live streams over. Because I sound like an idiot. If you ever see um, those like little little tiny irons, people like to use it for the stuff just because then you don't have to have your big gigantic iron out when you're doing it. Okay, so now we're gonna work. We did B1 and B2, now we're gonna do B3. And to do B3, you have to fold it. Which way am I folding it? <laughs> Fold it on the line, and then this is you need a ruler that has quarter of an inch measurements. Um, it's important because you're always going to work in a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Yep, that's right. <laughs> I'm kind of moving up by accident. I need some of my blue fabric. Oh, I have it. Hello, anybody wanting to chat? Don't hesitate. Anybody here done this before? I just learned about it last year. Yeah, it's so cool. Um, if you just like, some of them can be really, really elaborate and take a long time. You can do f like full pictures of things. And it's very cool. Okay, so I put my fabric, I lined up my edges, and then I will flip it over, and then I'm going to sew down the B3 and B1 line because I'm working on the B3. It's kind of like a paint by number type of thing. See, so you can see point of the star starting to take shape either that or I have no idea what I'm doing and it's not working out <laughs> I think I think I figured it out again I think I got it it's so weird this fabric I got this at um like Joanne's a long time ago but every time I go to put heat on it it goes like burgundy it's like color changing so I'm going to be working on this piece next but I'm going to just cut off some of my excess and you just cut along the outer edge 
The darker line signifies the fabric that will be visible in your um, in your finished piece, but the line around it is going to be your which I call it your seam allowance for when you go to put the piece together fully. And you pretty much need to have a rotary cutter if you're going to do this because it just makes things a lot easier. Okay. So now I need another blue piece. your straight edge against so I have, I'm going to be doing this line and now I'm going to do my last one for this piece That's the thing is I, I made a, a bunch of them, well I, I made a couple last year so that's why it's been a while since I've done it. I, I kind of get into the quilting mood around Christmas time for some reason. <laughs> Careful with the orientation of your fabric. I did it right, it's just that the fabric wasn't a good cut. Should have tried it before. <laughs> Good thing I have a lot of this fabric. Okay. Try again. But there's a lot of free patterns on craftsy.com that you can try out. And the good thing about these things is, you know, you can just use your scraps and try it out. and So you don't have to worry about using anything good. And then once you're good and confident, then you can go and purchase nice stuff. And then once it's all done, then you will just rip off the paper and it's pretty easy to rip off. screwed up. <laughs> ah, I put the wrong one. Even even I tried to do it, but oh well. Maybe I'll put the polka dot 
on the other side of the next star. Should have just done it all one fabric. Make things easier. Okay, so C is going to be pretty much identical to the first one. Right sides together. That it will fit. Yes, I think it will. Okay. Working on C3. See, this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to lay the fabric down, pretend I sew it, open it up, make sure that it goes past the paper, and then you should be good. And oh my god, if you're just showing up the first half of the video, I'm basically, I forgot how to do it. <laughs> so I'm like, what am I doing again? Oh yeah, I forgot. But now I finally figured it out. I, it's weird though, whenever I get around to Christmas time, then this stuff is like, oh, I feel like doing that again. So it literally has been like a year since I've done this. I've already screwed up. It's a star. Here's the... If you can see it. Like a Christmas star or... I'm not sure what they're called. I was thinking of making it into something... Maybe make like a bunch and then like a placemat or cable runner or I don't know. But I've already screwed up so this one might just stay down here <laughs> in the craft room. But it's a free pattern on Pinterest so. Thank you. 
These are the first two pieces that I made so far. So this is how it's going together. See, I meant to put the polka dot on that side. <laughs> ah, good times. But that's a guess. That's the thing when you do the live stream is real life actually happens. I can't edit this video. <laughs> I don't even know if I like the blue anyways. The blue and the... doesn't really go. But... It's still cute. Maybe it'll just be a little mug rug for me. I totally did that on purpose, see? I totally did that on purpose. <laughs> oh man. Still cute, right? So, anything going on in the world today? Anyone? Anything exciting? Thanksgiving's coming up for you guys. Everyone is starting to go crazy at the stores for toys. I went to the toy store and it's already pretty crazy. And there's these things called fingerlings that apparently everyone is, is going nuts over. Sold out in every store. thing about I guess those toys is they're only like 20 bucks like last year the hat hatchimals were like a hundred dollars like no thank you if you're gonna make a hot toy you gotta make it at least affordable for everyone So 
sometimes when you get to those spots that are your seam allowances, you're going to need to pop the stitches from the paper. All right, see you later. Sewing lovers and cat lovers. I am both of those. <laughs> Are you on Instagram? Because you look familiar. I feel like I, yeah, I don't think there's a lot of people with that kind of name, so it's got to be you. So I'm going to go spam your stuff later because I'm trying to remember what... <laughs> I'm just paper piecing and I'm making a free pattern that I found over on Pinterest. It's a star. This is the one. Hello, Gina. It's about time. Some people are not talking and I'm so quiet. So I'm like, some people need to talk. <laughs> Where are you from? What are we doing? Okay, I'm doing my quarter of an inch. Ah. So I'm going to assume that's not quite hold down there right now. <laughs> it's so wet and cold today here. It was raining like all day.
<laughs> How cold is that though? I cool? Cool, not cold. Uh oh. Mm. Might be able to hear my husband. He's on one of those like team speak things where he can talk with his gaming friends. He's in the other room. 46 degrees. I should have a little chart that can um Convert it because I have no idea what that would be in Celsius. Okay, so I did this one wrong. This one and this one are the way that I wanted it to be. So I might do that one over again. We'll see. Maybe I'll just be too lazy and, you know, if there's one thing about sewing is that, and it's the same with crochet, is that when there is one mistake, it adds character. <laughs> If you've never done paper piecing before, it's like a paint by numbers type of deal. You print out your pattern. There are the numbers and you sew along each number in order and you cut it off as you go until you create a beautiful and I'm almost done I have two more pieces left and then you can see how I assemble it all every time you go to attach another piece they're gonna go over and Tearing it. Try again. I 
actually have a video tutorial for this where I don't screw up a billion times. Um, I, I can leave that link down below. It is a like a cowboy star, I think, is what they were calling it. It's pretty cute. It'd be cute if it was like, and it was a larger one, so it'd be cute if it was um like made into a pillow or something like that. Now we're gonna fold. We're gonna be working with E3, so you have to fold the line between E3 and E1. Basically, you fold the line where the previous, so I'm over, like just say I was gonna go over to E4, the fabric is already on E2, so you would fold here. The fabric's already on E1, so the next one is three, even though it's not E2, I've already done here, so you're, you're still gonna go over here. I know it, I'm don't I know I'm not making any sense right now. Oh my goodness. It's only ten o'clock. <laughs> yes, this is my CP seventy five hundred from Costco. I just did a craft room tour actually yesterday that is up on my channel and I get a better look at it. I got two thumbs down so I don't know what that means. If you do a craft room tour and they give you two thumbs down, is it because they don't like your craft room or is it because they don't like the way you took the video? I I just moved into this house, so that tour is very, you know, it's it my my room hasn't really been lived in if you want to call it that. So it's pretty boring. But it's cool to document how it looks at different stages. I love this sewing machine though. It's so easy to use and it never gums up on me and I never break a needle in my face and last one was like a shark <laughs> and it would oh man I would break so many needles this one has like safety in it so if it feels like there's any sort of resistance it just stops but the other one would just barrel through and then it would snap off in your face I almost wanted to wear safety glasses when I would sew Goodness, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, I only have this guy. I am, um, my mom just gave me her Serger, uh, Viking something. I don't know how to say it. Like I said, it's in my my room tour. You can get a better look at it, but I am 
intimidated by that thing. So maybe next year I will try it out. Do you have your sewing machines like on display or are they just all stored away and See, look, I'm making, I didn't even try it, and I made that one right, too. I may have to do that one over, just so that it's right. All right, last piece. Holy moly. So I'm going to do the polka dots. Nice. That's cool. Considering I have two children and a husband, I'm very fortunate I was able to get a sewing craft room. It's right next to the laundry room. So I don't know, I'm assuming that means that I have to do laundry, but I am thankful for that. Okay. Have to make this right. That is wrong. This is right. <laughs> I hope. So I'm going to be sewing on that line. I try to get it as close to the edge as possible, but you also want to have your quarter of an inch seam allowance, so I'll probably keep it away about a half inch just to be sure. Oh, that's horrible. 
I'm so hard, sorry to hear that. I would have so many more hobbies. But it's good that you have hobbies, though. Keep yourself busy. I have a friend right now. <laughs> Aw, so that the year for babies. I have one kitty. Okay, so I screwed up. I I'm assuming you can tell. Pretty sure this is but yeah. I have a friend right now who's having issues with her self and Yeah, I'm definitely going to check you out after today. But yeah, so she, her doctor told her she needed a hysterectomy a couple months ago. But then they said, but you're too young, so we're not going to do it. So she's got some serious health complications because of it and pain all the time from cysts and all kinds of things. Now she's in an induced coma. She had an acute pancre pancreatitis attack. She almost died the other day because the doctor said she was too young for one. absolutely horrible but the thing about Canada is that you know we have the free health care and everything but they also you know it's kind of the same thing they will only do things if they find it is very necessary so apparently they didn't find it necessary and at 33 years old she has organ failure and almost dies. So, thank you for that free health care that we pay such high taxes for. All right. Now the question is, would you fix it? Does this bother you? That I screwed up on that one point? Or would you say, who cares? I'm gonna say who cares. <laughs> okay, so. After you're done that, then of course you're going to attach your pieces. Hi! Oh, you're on your cool fam. <laughs> I'm paper piecing. <laughs> I'm making a star, it's like a Christmas star. Ugh. <laughs> I don't know what happened. 
it's lined up. WTF. <laughs> I should have got I've done so much stitcher thing, it's not even funny. This shouldn't be like this this is a pattern that was made by somebody, so I shouldn't be having any difficulties. At, at this point. I mean up until now this has just been been all me and I think I'm just gonna title this this stream a sewer who doesn't know how to sew stream. <laughs> she says she knows but she really doesn't. What the Don't wreck. Okay, there we go. Okay, so maybe. Maybe. If I do that. And that. And we'll try again. If not, then I don't even care. Ugh. My machine is going to attack me. That's no, okay. Okay. <gasps> eh. Close enough, don't you think? Yeah, just a straight stitch. It's all in the pattern. It's like a paint by numbers. Like you start with. A and B and C and then once you've done each piece then it's supposed to all go together. Apparently. <laughs> it just when you're doing it though like when I'm gonna be sewing it like this this looks wrong but Apparently it's not, because when you flip it, then it's right. So, yeah. Alright. Try again. So then you do one half, and then we do the other half now, and then we put together. And then that is it. And then you can do whatever you, I think, I think I'm just going to make like a little mug rug instead, just because I kind of screwed up with it, but, and then I really, I want to do something more ambitious. Like, like, like a table runner or something like that. I want to do things that are really, really ambitious, but I have this thing called no patience. And I enjoy immediate gratification of my projects. <laughs> Okay, that's still re really young. Okay, now what? This way, okay.
So as long as you you line up your fabrics, then that that the when the fabrics come together, then they're gonna be nice and crisp. I'm sure if you wanted to do an ambitious junk journal, you could do this for like a cover or something. That'd be really cute. And I go on craftsy.com and you can get free patterns or you can find them on Pinterest. Yeah, I have a tutorial for this also on my channel from like last year. Oh, nice. Ooh. Got a little thick there in the middle. weird hmm kind of works out here it does work out there but not down there interesting I don't know let's try again hey my other stitch ripper All this stuff that I'm doing, my stitch tripping, all this stuff, I cut this out of my videos just so that you guys don't know the truth. But the truth is, is I have no idea what I'm doing. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I know, I know some stuff, I swear. I've been sewing since I was a little tiny girl with my mommy. She taught me. She likes to do the clothing stuff. But I don't have the patience for that stuff. She made us, me and my sister, like dresses that had lace and frills and all the stuff I don't have patience for. I don't even know. And when I look at it, I'm like, you made that? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, what? Like it just doesn't, it's just crazy. But she doesn't really sew much anymore. All right, if this one doesn't work out, then I quit. <laughs> Jeez, that sounds really bad. <laughs> Lots of fabric in that center part. Ah, my needle got de-threaded. Where'd it go? Oh, 
Okay. One more time. I'll take it. This is better. So, yeah. Mm. Sorry, my shaking like crazy because the iron going over this little, this little lump right here. Okay, so this is what the back looks like. And then you just kind of open it like it's a present. I'm going to start tearing off the paper somewhat gently just so you don't end up ripping your stitches. And this can be a little bit tedious. What do I got? <sighs> I got some tweezers. Yeah. They got some pretty elaborate patterns out there too. I saw one that was like a little truck that had the Christmas tree in the back and I'm like, oh my God, that's so cute. That was a paid pattern though. I'm really, really cheap. <laughs> If I know, if I knew who the person was, then I'm more likely to buy something out of support. Yeah, they'll usually put that stuff. Um like in the pattern details. But, and some people just go and buy like the, um, the fat quarters, just get like a stack of all the colors and then you just have every color on hand. I'm just using my Christmas fabric and stuff for this one. Okay, I, I guess you guys are earlier than me. Eh? My kids have been in bed for hours. <laughs> Hi, right, thanks for joining me. I'll see you on your live stream. <laughs> How long this takes? I swear. <laughs> I'll show you again in case you're just joining me. If you have kids though and you were making things, like you could totally recruit them to do this part. <laughs> you could be like, hey kids, can you do me a favor? And then you can just keep doing more of these blocks. Especially if your kids are young, they'd be like, yeah, that sounds so fun. And you're like, it is so fun. You should totally do all of them. <laughs> if not, maybe you can recruit your husband if he's just sitting there watching the game or something. <laughs> well, your hands aren't doing anything, so you might as well do something. And then you can say, either you do this or you fold laundry, laundry pick one. <sighs> there is an end, I swear.
If you have nails, that helps. I have no nails. <laughs> Hello to anyone joining me. I am just taking the paper off of my paper piecing creation. Are welcome to chat with me if you like. Come on, there we go. <laughs> of course, you get to the end and things start to get a lot more difficult. The little tiny pieces. Ah, okay. There is, there it is. So cute. I am going to grab some quilting batting. Okay. So, from here, I am going to quilt and I'm going to get my backing fabric, which I'm just going to use this background fabric. So, all I'm going to do is cut out a piece. I'm just going to do it a little bit bigger just to be safe. totally will and then you can decide whether you want to do two ply or one ply if you're going to make it into a rug mug and you're going to put you know heavy hot mug on it you might want to do two layers that is not Santa in the other room. That is my Labrador scratching. <laughs> okay. Well, here she comes. Hi, Nala. Sorry, my chair makes a lot of noise. Okay, so from here, I'm just going to Okay, that's how I wanted the other types of fabric to go in the same direction as this. And then you can take safety pins or 
just regular straight pins and pin it down but of course when you're quilting you're going to make sure that you don't you don't run over your stitches and then i'm just going to choose what i want to do thank you nala for that I'm going to go along my stitches, I think. If I go along my stitches, then underneath it, you'll have the star pattern. And I'm only going to do the, the star. I'm not going to do the lines that the background has. And once you've done a little bit, then you can just remove your pins. your bottom fabric is not kinked up or anything. quilting a, a piece that I just made. It is, what do you call it? Paper piecing. I paper pieced a star. This is the pattern. I found this over on Pinterest for free. Oh, it looks so neat so far. Can you see that? <laughs> Nala, just close the door. That's so cool. I, I amaze myself sometimes. The process of making this was interesting, to say the least, if you end up watching the playback. But I am happy with the way it is turning out to be. I'm making a mug rug, which will just be a fancy word for, or a fancy name for a place I put my tea and probably some cookies. But also to pick up the drips. And it'd be cute to make this Thank you. Well, if you watch this video over, then you would probably think that I had never done paper pacing before. I actually do have a tutorial for it. Um, like last year I did one, but it's kind of like a paint by numbers type of thing. <laughs> It's for people who, I would say, just want someone to hold their hand through the quilting process. <laughs> but once you get the hang of it, then it gets easier. I don't want to lose my pins. 
probably lose them on the floor and then I got little ones. I'll probably end up in their feet and I have cats too. A cat and a dog. And I've heard cats of like swallowing needles or pins. Which would be horrible. So I'm just sewing down all of my little my stitching lines. You could of course, you know, do this in any way you want, but I think that it would be cool to do it this way because it looks really neat on the back. So neat. Sometimes you have to stop and start on a new line. But that's okay. I think I just have one more to do. I think that's it. I'll look on the back, I guess. Oh, no, one more. <laughs> yep. I see it now. Oh, jeez. My cat likes to sit behind the sewing machine and watch the needle. And I have to be very careful because periodically she will just her paw will just like go in the machine. And I'm like, oh my god. <sighs> Luckily she hasn't got stuck with the needle. Crazy kitty. She's a big my main coon. She's 17 pounds. And it's pretty crazy. She's only two years old. But I my last cat before her was seven pounds so you could imagine when my cat was getting bigger and bigger by the day I'm like oh my god to the vet the other day because she turned into a hunter recently um and in my last house she was a stay in the house kind of cat she would go out sometimes but she would just sit and sit on the deck and not really do anything but now we got this new house with this bigger backyard and she's been catching mice so Oh my god, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it! So I took her to the vet to get some shots. And, she, and the vet said, yeah, she's overweight. Not by a lot, but... She just eats so much. <gasps> Isn't it so cute? Okay, um, let's see, what am I doing next? I'm just going to do some binding quick and then I'm done. I'm not going to be doing binding the, the right way. I'm just going to cut a strip of fabric. I'm just supposed to cut it on the bias and all that fancy sewing words. I think that's like only necessary when you're, you know, when it's clothing or something because when you cut it on, on the bias then there's some stretch involved and when you're just doing something like 
this that's just going to sit on a table and do nothing, then I don't think that's very important. Um, let's do two and a half inches just to be safe. do the bias tape we're going to take our strip of fabric fold it in half with the wrong sides together Let's iron it with the iron on that is very important <laughs> but now my phone's gonna fall it's gonna fall I swear okay I think I saved it probably have too much, but that's okay. Okay. My little ironing board here, I have a tutorial. I made this myself. So you should check that out. If you're watching the playback, then I'll leave links down below for all the stuff that I talk about. Okay, so when you're gonna do your binding, um, because I'm probably gonna screw up and it's gonna look like not good, I'm gonna do it on the top, I think. <laughs> yes. I don't know. <laughs> okay, uh, you should start like halfway down. Don't start at the corner. And I made my binding too thin because I'm awesome like that. So I would do three inch strips. So don't do what, do not what I do is basically what I'm telling you to do. <laughs> okay. Because I need a little bit more, I'll just move it up and then it'll be fine. So, screw it on top. And then when you get to the corner, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <gasps> Oh my goodness, can I edit that out? All right. <laughs> okay. Probably can't see what I'm doing, so. I'm going to hold it down in the corner with my finger and then fold it so that there's, it lines up with the one side. So just make sure that the corner goes right into the corner and then there's like a 90 degree angle on your fabric. And then, okay.
maybe if I do it earlier, you can see it. Like I'm holding this down here and then I will pull the fabric down and it causes that to have a 90 degree angle. Hopefully you can kind of see that. And when you get to about a quarter of an inch away from the corner, And then I would, you should have put, you should have cut this on an angle. You should have cut this on an angle, but I didn't because I'm awesome like that and I break all the rules. But that is okay. That's what it's gonna look like. And then you take your, take it and then you are going to wrap it around. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, Stitch Ripper, where are you? You shouldn't be running away from me because you know how much I need you. What did I do? Throw it away thinking that I wouldn't need it anymore? Like, is that something that I would do to myself? Nope. I caught the fabric. <laughs> hey, yay. Hey. All right, show of hands, who thinks that I should only stick to edited videos? <laughs> All right, let us just do that seam one more time. I'm just gonna snip off the corners. <laughs> okay, have a good night. Thanks for joining me and hanging out and listening to all my screw ups. <laughs> Then you just fold it over. And then you will sew it. And if you do it correctly, then your stitching should fall onto that, onto the other side of your binding. 
<laughs> You're sweet. <laughs> I'm going to change my thread to black. I really like the thing that I liked with this machine is that the bobbin is so easy. Just pop it in. And that's it. So if you want to clip this stuff, you can. You want it to cover up those previous stitches. And then when you get to your corner, you should end up just folding it over top of it. But I think I'm just gonna going to do it. Fiddle with it as I go. Um, you might want to do a larger, a larger stitch length just so that it looks a little nicer. <laughs> My thread just snapped. Oh, I know why. I put my bobbin in, or my, my thread got caught in that little groovy thing. Murphy's Law. What can go wrong will. That's pretty much what happens over here. <laughs> this is going to look so bad. It's not even funny. <sighs> I've made full quilts before. So I have done this before, <laughs> but you know what I actually like to do normally is I will sew on the quilting or the, um, the binding and then I'll do the other ha the other side, which I'm doing right now. I'll do it by hand. And I really like that because then it's invisible but because I'm just making something silly and for myself and I don't really care I'll just do it this way So 
So I've hit almost, well, I did hit 8,500 subscribers. 85, yeah. So I'm very close to 10K. I'm pretty excited about that. I'm thinking maybe a giveaway should happen. But I don't know what kind of stuff would be fun for a giveaway. What would you want to see in a giveaway if it was sewing related? crazy to think that I'm almost at 10k. Pretty, pretty neat. Corners are just horrible. <laughs> but that's because I didn't cut my binding the right size. Oh well. But you get the idea. looks like a pot holder. I want to make a pot holder, but you need some sort of heat material and I don't know what that is or where to get it. Okay, so here it is. I know it's so not nice at all, but I just was in the mood to make something paper pieced. So try, try again. I'll probably do it again. And oh my God, look at that. Oh well. Anywho, thanks so much for watching. If you're new, hope you subscribe. I'm gonna go, it's 11 o'clock here, so. I should probably go to bed. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. I am going to be doing a collaboration with Whitney Sews. So if you know who that is, I'm pretty excited about that. It's going to be a quilting project, but it won't be a sewing project. So it's going to be something no so quilting and Christmas themed so it's going to be after Thanksgiving so anyways if you haven't already follow me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook and thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys